Central Virginia Auto Show with the owner of a 83 S10 pickup, Pro Street. What's your name? Dave Rayleigh. Dave, where are you from? Uh, Southern Maryland. Southern Maryland. How long you had the truck, Dave? 23 years. 23 years. Can you tell me about your truck, a little bit about the history? Yeah. You... We uh, was getting, it, getting ready to have it painted uh, about 15 years ago and she caught fire and burnt to the ground. Oh, wow. So, we started all over, and then we put this blown 383 stroker with uh, 871 VDS blow on it, it's mm -hmm. making about 700 on pump gas. Nice. It's cleaned it all up underneath of here and everything, so mm -hmm. it's never finished, you know. <laughs> Keep on, yeah. And the, uh, the paint, it's got ghost checkers into the paint, mm -hmm. and uh, but we've been all up and down the East Coast with it. Yeah, I see it, like a race flag. Yeah, and done real good. And uh, they're big in the front, smaller in the back. Like they're blowing off the truck as you go back. And mm -hmm. just have fun with it, you know. So, so you're a member of the East Coast Pro Street? Yes, we are. And uh, back half Pro Street. Yeah, it's got a 9-inch Ford into it, 411 gear, 35 spline axles. Uh, it's riding on air. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, you cleaned the back of it up a little bit, and it's all been overlaid with new metal over top of the existing uh, body and tubs and everything. Uh-huh. And uh, little batteries. It's, uh, Yeah. White just, lightning, huh? Yes, sir. We just enjoy. This was supposed to be a moonshine still. Oh, okay. With the tubes running back over in there, and the young boy that done the uh, work, he didn't know nothing about no moonshine. Still, oh. So we just put that on there. <laughs> uh, yeah, we so custom made all of this. The uh, roll pan had to be split and had an inch taken out of it so we can still open and close the tailgate. It's nice. And uh, everything, so we enjoy it. Hmm. So you said, uh, what did it catch an electrical fire or something? Uh, no, I had a guy doing some work under the hood. He took the fuel pressure gauge line off and tucked it up in the hood and told him my truck was it. Oh my goodness. So when I started it up, it just, Proof. everything lit up. Yeah. Uh, That's a shame. We tried to put it out and we, uh, my wife, she had to go up the road and get the, um, she just was checking the door right there. And uh, you could, uh, had to go up and call the fire department because we didn't have no service. Wow. Uh, where we were at. And then a guy come by with an old water fire steam she had just bought from a yard sale. And we got the fire out before the fire department got there. So. Sort of like the Phoenix, rise from the ashes, right? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Oh, cool. I was going to build another one, but I had just put the first set of interior into it, and it was about 1200 bucks. So right. I well, said it's just as cheap to go do this one. Gotcha. But it burnt holes in the firewall, it mm. melted the windshield, melted the carburetor off the motor. So, it's a. Uh, well, you've done a great job with it. I sure appreciate it, sir. Well, good luck today. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. All I right. appreciate you doing this for us. All right. Bye-bye.